meet Machli. Arguably the most photographed tiger on the planet and now the longest living tigress of India in the wild. Born in May 1996 to rule Ranthambore, she turned 20 this May. Tiger lovers refer to Machli as the Queen of Ranthambore, the Lady of the Lake, and not without reason. The slender striped cat enjoys a huge fan following all over the world. Die-hard Ranthambore lovers consider a trip to the park without encountering Machli an absolute waste of time. Her contribution to Ranthambore is undeniable. Machli has given 11 cubs to the reserve forest in the four times she has delivered. country where tiger conservationists seem to be slowly losing the battle against falling numbers. Muchley's contribution to the rising population of tigers in the reserve only adds to the legend of Muchley. The fact that Rajasthan boasts of nearly 52 tigers gives a sense of how much Muchley's contribution amounts to. Machli is a beautiful fish-shaped mark on the left side of her face, and that is how she got her name. The Machli tigress has been the pride of Rangtambo. I remember when I first filmed her on a sunset silhote with three cubs. But her fame goes far beyond her majestic physical appearance and beauty. The origins of Machli's popularity lie in her glorious past. An extremely rare event in the afternoon of June 27, 2003 was just the beginning of Machli's rise to stardom. challenged and successfully killed a crocodile in her territory in broad daylight, in clear view of several tourist gypsies. Tigers and crocodiles have lived here for centuries, perhaps even millennia, but never crossed each other's paths. The only fight between the two in living memory has been between Machli and her opponent, whom she vanquished and then killed. Two thousand and three was a drought year. As water bodies in the park began to dry, animals would often foray into each other's territories looking for food or water.
One of the few surviving water bodies in the park lay in Machli's territory. And she fiercely guarded it. Prey was hard to find that year, but Machli never let other cats into her territory. crocodile targeted her prey and paid for it with its life. The fierce battle between the two lasted for hours. Machli killed the crocodile, but lost three of her canines, among the most powerful and essential weapons that a wild cat possesses. In a matter of days, Machli became the most sought-after tiger in the entire Ranthambore. We have a faint suspicion that even Machli was somewhat aware of the extra attention being paid to her by all and sundry and enjoyed every moment of it. Such is Machli's popularity that she even has a Facebook page in her name with lakhs and lakhs of fans and followers. A few years back, the Rajasthan government released a postal stamp with Machli's majestic face on it. She became the only big cat to have her own stamp, an honor reserved usually for leaders of men. Some even believe that in the last 10 years, Ranthanbore has earned a profit of about one crore rupees solely from those who came in pursuit of Machli. Till a few years back, she used to roam her territory zone number five without a care in the world, unmindful of the cameras focused on her. After her conquest of the crocodile, her gait seems to have become even more magnificent, as though it reflected the pride of that victory. She's, she's such a star, amazing tigress. She's had so many litters. She's given so much joy to people and uh, you know, helped make Ranthambore even more famous and things. Age is catching up with Machli, but even as she has aged, she has also tricked death time and time again. Two years ago, on the 9th of January 2014, the world's oldest tigress disappeared from her zone, that is zone number five of Ranthambore. The news of her disappearance shook not just Ranthambore, it also raised concern across the world. Newspapers, television channels, the social media, all were abuzz with the news of Machli's disappearance. The forest department and practically everybody at Ranthanbore launched a search for the missing tigress. With each passing day, hope faded. For three weeks, there was no sign of the Queen of Ranthambore. They didn't find anything, not even her pug marks. Had 
Had she died untraced? Had she been poached? Or had she been killed by another tiger? These recurring questions remained unanswered for 25 long days and nights. A pall of gloom descended on Luntenburg. The one person who refused to give up hope was Dalat Singh a well-respected forest officer of Rantanba. Some years ago, Dalad Singh had lost an eye after he was attacked by a tiger, but that hadn't at all diminished his love for tigers. He left no stone unturned in his search for Machli. One day, the pursuit led him and his team to the Kachida guard post in Ranthanbore when suddenly, as though out of the blue, Machli appeared in front of their gypsy almost on the 26th day. She was alive and well, and roaming around completely oblivious of the anxiety she had caused. For Ranthanbore and Muchli's fans, it was a delightful surprise. The next day, when Dalat Singh found Muchli relishing a kill, he heaved a huge sigh of relief. All was well. Due to the other tiger's pacer, it moved from Lakada to Kachida area. And uh, meanwhile, in the trekking, we found the indirect evidences, just pug marks and skates in the same area, and a lot of alarm call also. So we are confident that Masli is nearby that area. It transpired later that Machli had been driven out of whatever little territory she had been left with, and had spent the past 25 days in a small valley. that she had managed to defy death all these days in an obscure jungle stretch once again spoke loudly of her character, her uncanny ability to stay afloat and her unbounded lust for life. Muchly, has practically overshadowed the other tigers of the reserve park. Meanwhile, Muchli continues to make her news appearance every now and then. Recently, she was spotted emerging from a hotel room in Savai Madhav. This hotel is located quite close to her territory. Perhaps Machli had gone there to see how humans behave. forest department is convinced that this tigress would never harm anybody, no human for sure. Mohan Singh, who has been keeping a close eye on Machli for the last several weeks, believes she doesn't have much time left. Obviously, अभी ये इसका कोई राम भरोसे चल रही है, बूटी टाइगर ऐसे पानी में बैठती तो एक घंटा नहीं उड़ती है। Seven or eight years ago, Machli was pushed out of her territory by her own daughter, Tigress Number Seventeen, or Sundri, as she was fondly named, having inherited not just her mother's beauty and grace, but also 
her mother's fighting instincts. Survival of the fittest, the core law of the jungle came to play, and that time, Muchli was at its receiving end. But now, Muchli is going through what every living being on earth has to go through to complete the circle of life. She is in her old age. Muchly has used her grit and experience well to go through the seasons of life, but she is now fast approaching the end of her magnificent journey. In her final days, Ranthanbore's favorite tigress is living on the kindness of the forest department. It is now impossible for Muchli to hunt on her own. So that she may kill and feed herself, the forest department offers her bait. One guard is always present to look after her. Old age has even affected her eyes, one of which is completely blinded because of a cataract. A few months back, we were lucky enough to have spotted Muchli for one last time. The forest department had given her a Nilgai, which had fallen prey to the village dog pack. It was after a good 15 minutes of repeated calling by Mohan Singh that we got a somber call some three kilometers away in a distant valley that gave the first indication of Muchli having heard our call. Thereafter, repeated alarm calls from a distant monkey pack, Cheetal and Samber, confirmed that Muchli was moving towards us. As she reached within about a kilometer, she responded, and then we saw her walking towards us as she entered an open patch about half a kilometer away. After a thorough inspection of the carcass and giving us ample opportunity for some fantastic photographs, Muchli picked up the full-grown Nilgai from the neck and vanished into the thicket to have a hearty meal. Muchli was found in the Amaghati area on the park's western periphery in a feeble condition on 13th August 2016. The forest staff which cordoned off the area was monitoring her condition and trying to feed her, but she only consumed water and her condition did not improve. Muchli was lying on a grassy patch and was incapable of standing up or walking. She breathed her last on August 18, 2016. Her magnificent journey has come to an end. She was cremated after a post-mortem at Amaghati check post on the periphery of the park which had become her territory since 2014. Muchly's fans around the world bid adieu 
to the Queen with heavy hearts. We wish we would have screened this film a week before. Probably our prayers and wishes would have saved Muchley's life. To spot Muchley one more time in the wild is merely a wish now, merely a dream now. The Queen has left for the happy hunting ground. But she will be alive in our memories and in the jungles of our hearts forever.